Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft Achievement Hunting. So as you can tell, we've got ourselves a shield on the go. So we're going to be doing some nether exploration today. So we need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Put all this away, keep the food. Uh, take the shears away. And I think that's a good enough clear inventory. So we've got a couple of achievements to complete in the nether. Let me see if I can find them or go through the portal. So I'm going to get lost in here for definite. And apparently there's some cats in here and some pigs and some sheep and wow, that's a lot of animals that have run in the nether. But so we're going to head through this tunnel that I've prepared off camera quite a long time ago and we're going to do a little bit of exploration so we need to uh, go through all the biomes in the nether we can also collect some quartz and resources and find ourselves a nether fortress which will get us that slight bit closer to we also need to get ourselves uh, no. We have a bucket though. So we can get ourselves some. nuggets because what I've just realized is we need to get ourselves some gold armor and potentially even just gold in general so we can do some trading with the piglins but we need gold so that the piglins don't like attack us Okay, so in this version of the game, apparently, you can't do what I thought you could do, which was block. need to be careful when going into this particular biome though because I also don't think I've ever collected this material so yeah like I said Let's get ourselves the gold. Gold helmet. And let's continue exploring. So we've already sort of I've already sort of been around this area. These guys here. They do a hell of a lot of damage. And you can't, we well, can defend against them, but it is quite challenging to do so. So 
So I'll be very careful of my step, but I'm pretty sure if I dig... ...in this direction... ...we can go across this makeshift bridge... ...and there's a bastion. Um, tempted because I've actually never been in one of those before so very scared there's a lot of lava around it's going to take a very long time for me to even think about making all this armor again. In theory I should be good. To go in there. I mean he's a brute, but I mean I don't need to go on his level. Just it's, it's in a bad. Because you're all friends, you're all friendly with me until I either attack you or I steal gold from you. kind of what I want to do because I want to Oh, I'm dead. There's there was literally like that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Like, I knew that there was going to be a brute dude, and then I knew there was going to be a chance of me falling in lava. And I knew it was going to happen. So, luckily, um, I believe one of these dudes sells me the full diamond gear. Uh, yeah. He sells me all that stuff, and you should technically sell me the rest. Oh, you've reset your trades for some reason. So, getting my stuff back really isn't going to take that long. It's quite annoying that that's happened and I can't like revert the save back to the beginning of the episode it just means that I need to be a bit more careful and take more like regeneration stuff because that, that wouldn't have helped in that situation and also it didn't help that I had all my diamond gear on me and everything but if I'm honest with you I'm going to that never with just plain old stuff on so annoying yes but if I'm honest with you, it was bound to happen because I was hardly prepared and playing on the Xbox version of this, it's it's a hell of a lot more challenging than playing on the PC version. Like the PC version is like honestly ten times like better for game control. I gotta think, I'm playing on a controller, if I nudge my controller like that's me nudging it but sometimes it's like ghost it's like a ghost controlled controls it because like you nudge it and it nudges slightly further than you want it to whereas with a PC you're holding that W key down and you know it won't like go any further than you want it to and you have a hell of a lot more control over the character but that's just the difference between like a console and a PC. It's just I feel like that guy did like way too much damage. If you 
punch the creeper. Does the creeper do more damage? Surely that's not how it works. Right, set my spawn, make sure I spawn back there. Get that stone hoe. I mean, Noel's not lost for doing that. That trip to the never, I mean. Annoyingly. Annoying, yeah, but I kind of knew that was going to happen and I knew the episode wasn't going to end. Particularly well. Because I went there to go and explore different biomes, but I knew as soon as I went into that bastion I was going to die, because I, honestly, first time I've ever been in one, so... It was bound to happen. And then we just do the painful task of leveling these guys back up. And buying all the armor again. And making sure these guys don't die overnight. So I don't have to then re-get all of my stuff back. All of my villager traders back. Because that really isn't fun. I don't think there's enough beds to let those guys breed, but we shall see. So yeah, unfortunately, this video is going to be cut short. But off camera, I'm going to do a bunch of like trades and fix up the holes and maybe even get myself a house going and maybe I can make another episode just basically making a house and getting everything set up so that I can actually make a functional house but have it so that it's accessible from the outside but you can functionally use everything I, I'm trying to explain something, I'll, I'll build it in the next episode but basically I'll have it so the chests can be accessed from the outside and the inside which will be kind of weird looking but at the same time, it will be safer than being outside. I'm trying to look for dirt. That's why I can feel this. So yeah, I'm going to fill this hole in quickly. And then we'll end off the episode there. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a shorter one. I really wanted it to, but... Off camera, like I said, I'll uh, get all my tools and my diamond stuff back, diamond gear back, and uh, we'll head back into the nether. A bit more prepared, and uh, now it's raining. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this sort of failure of an episode going into a bastion. We'll definitely go back there, because I'm 99% sure I know where it is, and uh, I'll come back geared up, ready to go, with my 9 emeralds and my 14 diamonds and all this stuff in this chest here, and my 1 gold. I'll go back in, get all my gold gear back, maybe even get the villagers with some good trade so I can have my, so I can have some protection for, and breaking gear with mending and all that kind of stuff, so it's all fully kitted out, ready to go, and uh, yeah, we'll be basically invincible, apart from the fact that I won't have uh, never right, but at the same time, let's get some gear on the go. Let's get some villagers rocking and a rolling, and uh, I'll actually put them in there like pods and zones and stuff like that, so they'll be a bit more secure, and uh, I know exactly where they are. And uh, yeah, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode anyway. I hope you guys do actually enjoy laughing at me when I fail and. All that kind of stuff, because at the end of the day, I look back at these videos and I laugh at myself, because 
the ways I die and everything like that is just hilarious. And I mean, I get a good laugh out of recording, and I mean, that would have happened inevitably, recording or not recording. I I I I don't like the Never that much, and like this console is quite difficult to kind of control. You should, you'll wait you wait until I start fighting the Ender Dragon. I mean, I've got to go to the end because this is obviously the achievement hunting series. I'm going to have to go to the end, fight the Ender Dragon, then defeat the Ender Dragon, and then instantly respawn the Ender Dragon. So I'm basically doing the Ender Dragon fight twice in a row, and then I'm going to have to I'm going to fight the Ender Dragon twice in the same episode so that I can complete one achievement which is and then I can respawn the Ender Dragon. But I also need to remember to bring a bottle in so I can collect the Dragon's Breath. But I need to obviously trade up with the villagers to get bow, which has infinity on it, because I'm breaking on a bow isn't the best because you obviously then can't put infinity on it. Which I think is right, it should be that way. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying at the same time. Alright, let's replant all my potatoes because I've decided to um, destroy all these. So let's do this, and then we'll end out the episode. Let's switch. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope you guys do actually enjoy laughing at me. I'm going to see if I can sleep. Nope. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope to see you guys next time where, hopefully, we can go in this never here and... Uh, actually defeat some mobs. But I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see you guys next time. Good bye. Yeah. It's always fun to record and always fun to play. Goodbye.